hello and welcome to today's class for this mathematics class we'll consider a study of um, binomial theorem we'll look at um, the study of binomial theorem and its definition and the various methods involved in the study of binomial theorem so first first um, let's define the concept behind binomial theorem so by definition binomial theorem is simply the general form of expansion of terms either adding or subtracting being raised to a particular power or index or degree so that's your definition for the concept of binomial theorem i will understand the definition we'll look at the several methods involved in the study of binomial theorem so let's look at the methods involved in the study of binomial theorem all right when it comes to the study of binomial theorem there are three methods there so look at the method one after the other so let's start the first one there called the the first method there is called the general method so note that when it comes to binomial theorem your first method there is called the general method number two there we have the pascal triangle So Pascal's triangle becomes your second method um, for binomial theorem. Finally, look at the third method called the combination method. All right, these are like the three distinct methods involved in the study of binomial theorem. So for this for this class, we we'll look at just only the first one called the general method. So in our next video, we we'll look at Pascal's triangle and perhaps combination method. So let's have the first method called the general method and let's see what we get. All right, let's start with the first um, concept behind general method of Bernard theorem. So I'll be explaining this uh, man here using some examples right so when it comes to general method that is quite simple right so we'll explain this um, general method using several examples so let's have example one let's have example one so uh, for number one there let's say i have a plus b all squared in this manner so first is first um, let's say I'm told to expand this using the concept of binomial theorem. How do, you, how do you possibly evaluate this? So, from your idea of indices, what we know before now is that if I have a squared from your um, indices concept, we know this means um, a times a. So, this is like your expression for um, anything squared. Anything squared will become your expression. So, in this case here, I'm having a plus b squared. This simply means a plus b multiplying a plus b so how do you expand these two brackets here's the key concept to note so to expand these two brackets here's the tax your first tax is that you multiply um, the first term in the first bracket by everything here yeah? i'm saying that you pick out the first term in the first bracket multiply it by everything here yeah? similarly you pick out the second term in the first bracket multiply by everything here so what do i mean so i said pick out the first term that's a so i'll pick out a into everything here that's a plus b a plus b next up said pick out the second term which is plus b so i have plus b into everything in the second term that becomes a plus b so i have this um expression here so at this point now how do you expand this so my tax is to use this a to expand this bracket and use plus b to expand this bracket so what do we get so at this point here now a multiply a that gives a squared plus a times b a b plus b times a of course b times a is meant to be b a but in alphabetical order i'll have a b Next up, plus b times b will give b squared. 
at this point here this becomes my expression after expanding this this upper value upper expression here so at this point i can't leave my answer in this case why because i'm seeing like terms i'm seeing a b and a b of course if i add two a b if i have if i have a b and a b when they both combine becomes a two a b so i have i'll add these two up i'll have a squared plus two a b plus b squared so it becomes your answer after expanding um this um expression here so it becomes the basically the idea of general method so look at other example to, for, to further um understand the in-depth behind general method let's look at example two so for example two there for example two let's say i'm taught to expand a plus b or cube so how do you possibly expand this expression um it's quite an easy tax so we said your first tax is to express it in terms of what indices so if i have a cube here i'll have um times a here so let's say i have a cube here a cube here so i'll have to add what times a this comes three a here so same thing applies here so if i expand this one here i'll have a plus b into a plus b into a plus b so it becomes um a plus b three times so if i have a plus b cubed it means a plus b it plan itself um thrice so how do we expand this three expression by the way we just expand a plus b squared a plus b squared means a plus b multiplying a plus b observe that these two value here these two terms here are what is here right so the tax line is that i don't need to start expanding these two terms again so at this point you now said but we know that a plus b into a plus b as we um expanded here what's our answer we had our answer is given as a squared plus two a b plus b squared so after expanding these two this one these two alone i had this expression here's not a tax i have to pick this one out this this last term here that's a plus b i mean this last one here so multiply with these two these two alone gives me this expression so i'll put down a squared plus 2ab plus b squared or if you want to drop this down next up if i expand these two as in this case here i had my answer as this so put, put this answer down here to replace these two expression so i have this one here so how do we expand this the tax is simple um the tax is quite simple um, the same procedure we used for the previous one we said when it comes to expanding two brackets your tax is that you pick out the first term in the first bracket multiply by everything in the other bracket so we said pick out the first term that's a into everything here becomes a squared plus 2a plus 2ab plus b squared we said pick out the first term into everything here similarly i'm going plus b plus b into a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so i have this one here so how do we um, simplify this so tax is quite simple use a to expand this bracket use b to expand this bracket what do we get i have a times a squared that gives a cube plus um observe 2ab times a that gives 2a squared b plus a times b squared gives a b squared next up plus b times a squared is meant to be b a squared but we said alphabetically order i'll have a squared b plus b times 2ab 2ab i'll have 2ab squared next up plus b times b squared b gives b cube so this comes to uh, our expression here so we said i can't leave my answer in this form why because i'm having like terms here so there are some terms that can add up right to form one so observe here now what are the terms that can add up from here now i can see a cube i can see b cube they are both coming down but observe that this is a squared b also another a squared b so by the way the coefficient of a squared b here is just one 
right? So I am, I'm having an invisible one here. So if I add up 2a squared b with that invisible one, I will have a 3. So it becomes a cubed, so plus combine 2a squared b with just a squared b. That gives 3a squared b. I have picked this one. I have picked this. I have picked this. Remaining just 1, 2, and 3. So observe that a squared, a b squared is similar to a b squared here. Yeah. But the coefficient here is 2. Here is invisible 1. Combine them, I'll have what? A 3 a b squared. Next up, um, I'm left with what? I've picked this one. I have picked this expression. Left with just b cube. So I have a b cube here. Yeah. So this becomes your um, answer after expanding um, this term here. Yeah. So look at one last one and we're off. Then we'll move to next method called the Pascal's triangle. Welcome back. Let's try to do um, the last example here um, to further explain the, or perhaps to, to further understand the in-depth concept behind general method. So let's look at So let's look at the fourth, uh, perhaps the third example um, in the concept of general method. So I'm having a plus b or to power four. So this means a plus b in four places, right? So what do I get here? For me, I will have a plus b into a plus b into a plus b. Sorry, I have a one a plus b. This becomes one, two, three, four. Let's expand these four um, variables here. So how do we ex possibly expand this? Um, it's quite an easy tax, right? So observe here that I'm having four expression. This one, two, three, four. By the way, we just uh, we just expanded. Um, in our previous example, example two, we expanded just three variables. We expanded a plus b, a plus b, a plus b. These three, one, two, three, gave us our value as being this. So the tax is quite simple now. At this point now, I will, I will recall, perhaps, but we said earlier that a plus b into a plus b into a plus b, this three here, we give a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. As I had here, right? Three um, a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. So mind you, if I span this 3, I'll have this exp um, expression as my answer. So I'm still left with just one expression, one term. So I'll pick out this term now. Observe, observe that. Okay, let me see. Let me use this way. 1, 2, 3 will give you this expression. By the way, I'm left with one here. So I'll have this one here becomes a plus b into this three one two three we give you all the expression here so i plug the expression here that becomes a cube a cube plus three a squared b plus three a b squared plus b cube so i have this um expression all right at this point now let's get our value right so i'll use i'll pick out the first term which is a to expand through Similarly, pick a second term plus b to expand through. So what do we get? So me now, I have this a comes out first into everything here. That gives a cube plus three a squared b plus three a b sorry a b squared plus b cube. So we said pick out the first term, multiply by everything in the other bracket. Similarly. Pick out the second term. I have plus b as my second term into everything here. That becomes a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. So I have this expression. So by the way, how do we um, possibly simplify this? Um, the text is quite simple, right? So we said I'll use the first, uh, sorry, I'll use this um, term. To expand this bracket, similarly, I use plus b to expand this bracket. True. So what do we get? So for me, I will have a multiply a cube that gives a to power four, 
right? So plus, observe this is A. A squared times A, A cubed. So I'll have A3, A cubed, B. All right, plus, from here now, this is A times A. That's A squared. So I'll have 3, A squared, B squared, 3A squared, B squared, plus, plus, combine B cubed with A. That gives A, B cubed. Plus, combine B with A cubed. You so said that gives A cubed, B, plus, B multiply B, B squared. So I'll have 3A squared, B multiply B. That gives B squared. Next up, plus, this 3, this is my 3 here, yeah? this A, this A. Combine B squared with B. That gives B cubed. Plus, combine B times B cubed, B to power 4. All right, at this point here, um, I can't leave my answer in this 4. It's wrong. Why? Because I'm having terms, like terms here. So observe that. Listen up. This is A cubed B. Check again from here. I'm having A cubed B. That's all. So there's no more A cubed B here. So observe that this one and this one here are like things. They can combine. So for me, I will have 8 to the power 4. Observe this. 8 to the power 4 plus, this is 3. The coefficient here is 1. 3 plus 1 will give 4. So I'll have 4 A cubed B. I have picked this one. I have picked this. I have picked this. So observe again. This is A squared B squared. Check again. Where is A squared B squared? A squared B squared is of course here. Yeah? So I'll combine these two, one and two together. This is three. This three combined, we give six. So I'll have a plus six A squared B squared. I'm off. Of course, from here again, I can see A B cubed. I can see A B cubed. But perhaps the coefficient here is worse. An invisible one is here. If I combine that one with three, so I'll pick this one and this. So I'll have a four. That becomes plus four a b cube so left with what just b to the power four so i have plus b to the power four so it becomes my answer after solving this um, particular problem using the concept of general method of general method of um binomial theorem so if you found this class helpful do it to like um subscribe and share to your friends and classmates see you in the next class Next class, I'll try to um, explain the concept behind Pascal's triangle and also combination method. What?